So we'll now have the commemorative address, which will be given by Moon Sun Jin, our international president. So please welcome our international president with a big round of applause, everyone. Beloved true parents, distinguished leaders from around the world, blessed central family members, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great privilege to stand before you today on the occasion of the sacred Sungha Festival in honor of the fourth anniversary of our true father's ascension. We have gathered here today in a spirit of oneness, unity, harmony, eternal love and solidarity centered on our heavenly parents and our beloved true parents. We gather in the oneness of heart with our precious true father who is always with us when we practice true love and live with joy in our hearts. Father, thank you for your love. We are honored to be here with you, with our beloved true mother and with our worldwide family to celebrate your life. We are grateful for all the abundant blessings, everlasting hope, infinite grace you have given us, and we pledge our absolute resolve to carry forward your legacy of love. Aju. And thank you, brothers and sisters, your presence here, your sincere love, faith, and dedication, and hard work keeps True Father's dream alive. You are all beloved sons and daughters of our true parents and heavenly parent. Kamsahamnida and Sadanghamnida. Whenever I reflect on the depth and significance of our true father's life and legacy, I can only conclude that his life was a miracle. From such humble beginnings in North Korea, he rose to cover the entire globe, continuously traveling the world to share his message of God's true love and hopes for eternal peace. He was, as his autobiography is titled, a peace-loving global citizen. As an absolute center point, he embodied the principle of living for the sake of others, loving all God's children as his own and raising them up in love, grace, truth, and peace. When I think of True Father, the image that is forever emblazoned in my mind is one of an indomitable force of true love. I always see True Father's unforgettable smile expressing his loving heart. I see him hugging, forgiving, and loving even his enemy. He crossed every border, boundary, with principled compassion, generosity, and unchanging commitment to God's will. Our true father lived and walked this earth for 92 years, standing squarely at the center of God's providence. He had been called by heaven, by Jesus himself, for a mission that was beyond ordinary compre comprehension. Squarely facing every challenge and difficulty, he prayed and worked ceasing, without ceasing, gathering disciples one by one, even in the face of continual opposition. Although the course of restoration was torturous, he endured, and he prevailed. And yes, he emerged victorious. Aju. What for us is a divine spark was for True Father, a roaring fine passion for God and the restoration of humanity. Each and everything he did over the course of his amazing life was for the sake of unity, harmony, and peace centered on true love, true life, and true lineage. He taught us the meaning of the word chanilguk, a world where two become one, a unified nation of peace. 
The central themes of unification and oneness were applied by True Father to relations amongst religions, nations, races, ethnicities, cultures, and civilizations for the sake of establishing one family under God. Every organization and project that True Father and True Mother established had this vision in mind. True Father strove every single day of his life to love, care for, support those in need. He devoted every moment of his life to education, continually teaching many times throughout the night without going to sleep. All his earthly possessions he donated to humanity so that all people of the world could realize their true divine potential. At the core of his teaching was a desire to guide each and every person to achieve complete mind and body unity centered on God, a divine balance of the self as a son or daughter of God. From that point he taught the next stage, the blessing, where two would come together as one married, in cu one married couple in complete harmony and love. The eternal love and unity of that blessed couple then expands to the family, tribe, nation, and world, eventually establishing one universal family under heavenly parents. Until his last breath, this was his glorious dream, one that I pray we can fulfill. Today, as one global family under our true parents, can we pledge to fulfill his legacy of peace for all humankind and creation? Can we pledge that? Yes! Yes! Aju! For the past four years since True Father's ascension, our True Mother has worked tirelessly to carry forward the True Father's dream. Throughout this time, she has single-handedly led our movement toward the realization of Chanilguk, one global family under God. This is no longer a dream. It is emerging as a glorious reality. Every day we are witnessing the victorious results from around the globe. The seeds planted over the past decade are now bearing fruit. Here in Chongpyeong, True Mother is preserving and immortalizing our True Parent's amazing legacy of true love, grace, and peace. She is building Heavenly Parent's true garden here on earth, creating a sacred space of heaven on earth. At the center of this garden will be the Chanji Sanagwan and the Hyojung Training Center, where people of the world will be reborn, blessed, and engrafted to the true olive tree as restored sons and daughters of Heavenly Parent. In 1960, at the time of their holy blessing, our true father and our true mother formed an eternal partnership. Their 52 years of marriage have opened up a path for all humankind to be blessed. As one absolutely united, victorious couple, they are our blessed, eternal, true parents. They have given us the blessing, the word, and the true path to follow so that couples all over the world can form true families. Will, the greatest tribute we can offer our true father on this day is to unite together, centering on our true mother with an absolute commitment to realizing True Father's dream of peace, emulating his daily devotion through Hundeke, and working every day with a filial heart to transform this world into the heavenly realm of Chanilguk. Will you do this? Yes! Yes! Thank you! I would like to close my remarks today with a brief Hundeke reading True Father's words. Please listen carefully to the passage which comes from the Chen Sung Young chapter entitled The World Culture of Heart. The heart is the mind of emotion. Our deepest feelings belong in the realm of the heart. God created human beings, therefore, the flow of God's heart is internally connected to that place. The electricity of God's love flows in the realm of the heart. Experiencing this is like feeling electricity flow through you. How powerful that is. Through this, you gain a sense of what goodness is. This is a realm of heart, contains a substance by which everything connects. There is nothing that does not belong to this realm of the heart. The electricity of God's love can flow everywhere. Everything true parents have taught us points to this culture of heart and true love for all humankind in creation.
It is the essence of our Heavenly Parents, the only pathway for peace, unity, harmony for all living beings. When we live each moment with this true heart, all things can be restored and returned back to God. Only through this eternal connection of the heart can we realize one family under God and have complete freedom and peace in the world. My deepest desire is that we all come together on this day and every day as one global family, letting the electricity and light of God's love flow everywhere. When we live with true love in our hearts, Heavenly Parent and True Father can dwell within us. I would like to read one more passage from our True Father, Chan sang -gyong. Love is a mind's source of energy. Accordingly, if we connect to God and generate colossal energy through the action of giving and receiving, we can increase our unity a hundred or a thousand times. We can also realize humanity's cherished hopes for living in eternity and taking ownership of heaven. The secret to this is love. Love is the elevator leading to unity and the secret to its absolute achievement. Aju. So, through True Father's message, we know that we always want to choose love. So in that spirit, uh, can we please take the time to stand and to cherish each brother or sister sitting next to you that brightened your light today and share a big hug of gratitude and a true loving embrace. For each one of you are the key to world peace, ultimate oneness and eternal unity. Keep in mind H is for harmony, U is for unity, G is for goodness, gratitude and God. As you embrace, feel your hearts unite Feel the joy in your union and send that loving energy and gratitude to heavenly parents, true parents, and to all of creation. And please say, Kamsahamnida, thank you, and Saranghamnida, I love you to each other. You will feel true father smiling, loving, and hugging you back. His legacy remains alive forever as long as we practice true love and come together as one family under heavenly parent. Please never forget that Heavenly Parent, divine light dwells in each and every one of you. You are the embodiment and the hopes and dreams of our Heavenly Parents and our true parents. Let us today and every day pledge our eternal love and victory to Heavenly Parents, true parents, and the whole human family around the world. Let us give three cheers of Sunni together of victory. Sunni! Sunni! Thank you. Thank you.